Hey, it's Luxury Travel Docs here, and welcome to Buenos Aires, Argentina. We arrived here three nights ago, and we stayed at the Park Hyatt Hotel in the Ricoleta neighborhood of Buenos Aires. We boarded the Viking Jupiter yesterday, and we had an all-day tour of Buenos Aires today. We were on the maiden voyage of Viking Jupiter after the pandemic, where we went to Iceland and did the itinerary called Iceland's Natural Beauty in July of 2021. It's like being home again to be back on the ship, and in fact, we're staying in the same exact room. What we plan to do for you on this voyage is give you an idea of the boarding process, particularly for Viking itself and for Buenos Aires cruise terminal, which is a little bit different than other cruise terminals that we've been at, mostly due to its large size. Just a reminder that all proceeds from our channel are donated to charity. Please help us help others by giving us a thumbs up or subscribing to our channel. Your support makes a difference. So let's get to it. One piece of advice that we have for you is to make sure that you negotiate a rate for a taxi to take you to the port if you arrive in Buenos Aires early. We were able to negotiate a rate from Ricoleta to the cruise terminal for three US dollars. We had friends who were on the same itinerary and stayed at a different hotel and their larger taxi was about 60 US dollars. So make sure you negotiate a good rate. Thank you. Our bags were taken immediately from us yeah. when we exited the taxi. Yeah. They were rolled past the lines of people who were waiting to board the MSC ship that was in port the same day. We were immediately greeted by a Viking representative who walked us through the port and confirmed that we had all of our documents that were needed, including our passport and vaccine cards. Remember that visas are not necessary for U.S. citizens. You should check ahead of time if a visa is needed for your country of departure with Viking itself or your travel agent. Buenos Aires has a very large ocean terminal. It is used for more than just recreational cruise ships. There will be a lot of locals waiting on the ferries to arrive, as well as other cruise ships that may be embarking or disembarking. The security process itself was very quick and very thorough. Boarding time for our itinerary was 12 o'clock noon, but for some itineraries it may be 11 a.m. So make sure that you check with your travel agent to find out specifically what time you can board. Your cruise cabin may not be ready when you board, but the World Cafe is open for lunch so you can sit and enjoy yourself with your carry-on luggage. If you don't want to keep your luggage with you after you board, while you go to lunch, you can store it, and for us the storage was in Manfredi's restaurant. During these days of the COVID pandemic, you may be required to upload your vaccine information on Verifly prior to departing for your cruise. Comfort checking can be completed on my Viking journey prior to leaving for your cruise. All this is really is uploading a photograph and your passport information, and this can be done at the cruise port and was done for us in Buenos Aires. Next, we were on to immigration where, just like upon arrival at the airport, your passport is thoroughly reviewed and you may have to provide a thumbprint. Cameras were not allowed in the immigration area. You will have to leave your passport with Viking representatives upon arrival to the cruise ship in Buenos Aires. You will receive a receipt back and your passport will be returned on the last night of the cruise. Be prepared for a lot of walking when boarding a cruise ship in Buenos Aires. If you are mobility challenged, ask for assistance immediately when you arrive. We prefer to carry on backpacks 
for itineraries like this because it makes navigating the cruise terminal and all of the stairs much easier for us. And you won't have to wait for elevators. Because this is such a large working terminal, you will have to take a bus shuttle to the ship itself. You cannot walk yourself because of the distance and for security reasons. And honestly, it's so far, you probably would not want to walk that distance. All right. The bus is air conditioned and very comfortable, but it is a long ride. There may be other cruise ships in port, and we saw a lot of lines for those cruise ships, like the MSC that you see now. Fortunately for us, the volume of other passengers did not affect our boarding. The only lines that we encountered are right when we arrived at the Viking Jupiter. I have to warn you that it's kind of hot in Buenos Aires, so make sure that you have some water with you or ask the Viking attendants for a bottle of water if you feel like you might overheat. Don't put your cruise card away too early because you will need it again to scan when you enter the ship. If you don't want to keep your luggage with you after you board, while you go to lunch, you can store it, and for us the storage was in Manfredi's restaurant. There will be a member of the crew dressed in traditional Norwegian attire to orient you to where you need to head for your muster station and safety review. What deck are we on now? One, so it's one deck out. Thank you. Viking calls muster stations assembly stations, and ours was assembly station B, which was located in the restaurant on level two. Refreshments are provided by members of the crew immediately when you board. We happen to get our refreshments up in the muster station. The safety briefing will be performed by a member of the crew. The crew wears yellow life vests and they demonstrate what you must do in the event of an emergency. You will not have orange life vests in your room like you may see on other cruise ships, but life vests are provided en route to a muster station should there be an emergency. We expected the announcement that all cabins were ready to happen around 2 p.m., but it happened much earlier at about 1 p.m. in the afternoon. The total time for our boarding process from the arrival in a taxi to the time that we were able to either eat or go to our room was about 30 minutes. Always remember to make meaningful and healthy travel happen. We hope you've enjoyed our reviews of the Viking Jupiter. Please look for more of them on our YouTube channel. And thanks again for supporting us. We'll see you next time.